Um, I've only been in my job a week, um, but as I've been here and as I look at our hotel, and I, I think of two words, and, I, and the words I use are approachable luxury. And uh, I, this hotel opened in 1989, so we're going into 20 plus years of operation in Hong Kong. And it's got a rich history, it's got very caring and friendly associates, and so what my goal is, is to build upon the, the, the foundation that has been built over the last 20 years. And my plan to do that is quite simply, I love the word listen, learn, and lead. And so for the first 60 days, uh, I plan to listen and learn. And how I want to go about that is have wrap sessions with my entire management team. So I've scheduled every day to meet with a group of managers individually, and that will take me about... Uh, oh four to five to six weeks that's a pretty busy agenda because we have a management team that constitutes 70 people and it's to listen and to learn from them one is to get to know them and develop relationships because i think that's the key to our long-term success um, and then to hear their ideas and suggestions both how can we can improve their department and how we can improve the hotel and then my plan is uh in early june after I collect all that information from my management team, I'm living in the hotel, so I'm uh, observing and experiencing our day-to-day -day service level and making notes as well, as well as listening to our guests and getting their feedback on our hotel. What are we doing well? Where can we improve? Where are our opportunities? And I've also taken the time to visit our competitors, and I want to continue to do that in the weeks to come, so I can clearly develop a strategy for how to move the hotel forward for the balance of 2010, and more importantly, for our long-term success in 2011 and beyond. Um, because I think a key is communication, and it's based on a simple premise. The more people know, the more they understand. The more they understand, the more they care. And when you have a team of associates who really care, there's no stopping. So as I said, over the first 60 days, two months, uh, my goal was to listen and to learn. And then I'm going to break away for a full day with all the feedback I've gotten from our guests, from our associates, from the regional and area team, from a whole group of, of uh, resources, including my own observations, and draft a strategy and a plan. And then, more importantly, I don't want it to be Mark Conklin's strategy and plan. I want it to be the leadership of the JW Hong Kong. So, I, in fact, today I met with my senior uh, leadership team, and I like the word leaders versus executives. And instead of most hotels have an executive committee, I prefer leaders. So I met with my direct reports, my leadership team, and we blocked two days in mid-June. And we will talk about um, where we want to move forward with the hotel. And it's kind of in five categories. I use the word buckets. But the first is revenue. Obviously, we're in a business, so we need to look at where are the opportunities to increase our revenue stream. Because when I do that, I have more money to invest in our, our guest services, as well as to invest, reinvest back in our associate base. So number one, how do we increase sales opportunities to the hotel? Number two, how do we improve the guest experience? What services, what benefits, what features, what things do we need to do to elevate our service reputation in the hotel? And closely linked to guest services, associate relations. And you notice I'll use the word associate versus employee. And I've done that for my whole career. And I think the, the, the key distinction is that employees work for you, associates work with you. So I view my team, and we have 750 full-time associates in, in this hotel as partners in running the business. And so I think the crux of improving guest service is make sure you have dedicated, commitment, engaged, motivated associates. So how do we increase revenue? How do we increase our guest services? How do we improve associate relations? The fourth key bucket is community relations. And I think um, a big part of my vision, it's a big part of our company culture, is to be responsible corporate citizens. And I love Hong Kong. I lived here many years ago. Uh, in fact, all three of my daughters went to school in Hong Kong. It's just my wife and I now, as my kids have gotten older and going to the United States and U.S. Uh, colleges. But my wife and I want to be engaged in the Hong Kong community. I want to take the hotel's presence in community relations to another level. And the final bucket, and this is a fun one, I call it the creativity. What are things that we can do that are innovative, that are creative, that haven't been tried before? And I think that really engages and captures people's spirit uh, 
to look at new options, new ways to do to do business, to take care of our guests, and just to be creative and try some new things. Common thread of running hotels, and um, I think there's four core components as I think about it. Uh, the first is is to select the right people. And you'll notice I use the word select and not hire, because I think you need to invest much time and care in the selection of the associates in your hotel. And historically, I've, I've asked to be involved in the final selection process. So when there's, we have an open position, someone would apply through human resources and go through human resource screening. I w would want them to interview with the department manager, ideally the executive committee. And before they join my family, I want to meet with them too. Because I think the most important thing you can do is select the right people to be part of your team. If you've done step number one, then once you've selected the people, it's to train them well. And there's a big uh, commitment in our organization to train people extensively, both initially and ongoing. We uh, invest a lot of money in the development of our associates at all levels. So if you selected the right people and they're well trained, the third component is communication. People need to know what's going on on a daily basis. And how we, how we uh, implement that is we have daily stand-up meetings in every department. We have a newsletter that's communicated every day. People know what's going on. And the fourth key piece, and it's the most fun in my opinion, if you selected the right people and they're well trained and they know what's going on through communication channels, it's celebration and recognition. And that's the best part of, the of my job as general manager is to celebrate and recognize our people on a daily, regular, ongoing basis. And I think those four principles are almost universal. You know, obviously we go through different cultural nuances, but uh, it develops a sense of teamwork, it develops camaraderie, it uh, uh, creates much mutual respect, uh, and most importantly it creates a caring environment. And, and the team that you lead, they know what the leaders care about them.